Today is a very special day as we have the great privilege to welcome many tribe representatives coming from all over the U.S. It's my pleasure to welcome you here all on Homa Beach. We are all here today at Charles Sides to honor Native Americans who were involved in D-Day operations on Homa Beach on June the 6, 1944. Quand on lui a demandé ce qui le motivait à l'époque et pourquoi il avait fait cela, la reconquête de la liberté jusqu'à parfois l'ultime sacrifice. Notre gratitude ne, faibli, ne faiblira jamais. Nous n'oublierons pas et transmettons ce message essentiel aux nouvelles générations. And a dazzling lesson the challenge, the ultimate impulse to fight and win, resilience, fear defeated towards Scarlet's goal, the reestablishment of freedom. Our gratitude will never fail. We shall never forget and will pass on your message to the new generations. Their actions personify their motto. No mission too difficult, no sacrifice too great. Duty first. Despite the chaos and the precariousness of those early hours, the strength of the individuals, the personal bravery, and the power of working collectively led them to advance beyond the beachhead and eventual Allied victory. Charles Shea typifies the bravery of the 1st Infantry Division, as well as the service and sacrifice that Native Americans displayed at Normandy and beyond. Over the horizon, battleships prepared to bombard enemy positions in preparation for the ground assault. And soon, soldiers of the 1st Infantry Division, one of five assault divisions from 13 nations, would load into their landing craft to make their way to Omaha, Utah, Gold, Juneau, and Sword Beaches. Not as they're seen today, but instead covered with wire, obstacles, and mines. And remember, we have that freedom to stand here today because of their efforts. No mission too difficult, no sacrifice too great, duty first, victory. Two years ago, we unveiled this beautiful granite, granite turtle totem here in the dunes above Omaha Beach. She was sculpted by my nephew, Tim. Last year, he chiseled a similar granite turtle on Old Lemon Island, not far upriver from my home. She now dwells at Panawapskik, her name, <coughs> our name for my ancestral village on Indian Island. Both turtles face each other, connected by a mysterious line, a spirit bowl. 
spread in the vast ocean. I am thankful that many more survived, among them my Penobscot friend Melvin Neptune, a heroic soldier in the Big Red One who had already fought in North Africa and Sicily before landing here on D-Day. Today, <coughs> today I am perhaps the last Native American survivor of bloody Omaha. Honored by her presence here with us this morning. I am also grateful. I also want to remember all Native, uh, all soldiers that paid the ultimate price for the liberation of Europe, that they could live a free life and do as they wished. Thank you very much.